Today, I am going to talk about this article called Microfluidics Integrate Space Flight Hardware for Measuring Muscle Strength of Sea Elegance on the International Space Station. Sea Elegance is a, a low cost genetic model that has been flown to the International Space Station to investigate the influence of microgravity on change in the expressions of genes involved in the muscle maintaining. In this study, the author redesigned a device called Nemaflex and integrated it with flow control hardware for spaceflight investigations, uh, considering mixed animal cultures constraints on astronaut time through safety on on orbit operation. The importance uh, of this study is because many pathophysiological change that occur during human spaceflight. Muscle atrophy is significant and remains a major impediment to deep space exploration. Uh, most important uh, studies ha have been carried out in C. elegans model because it presents several advantages for a space flight study. Up to 40% of its genes are homologous to human genes, and a large library of genetic mutants and strains with fluorescent reports uh, are available. The body wall muscles of C. elegans are functionally analogous to vertebrate muscles. And in addition, the nematode is small, uh, its weight is minuscule, and it has a short life lifespan. So uh, in this study, the authors address technical challenges for conducting multi-generational C. elegans strange measurements in microgravity. This Technical challenges include culturing of animals across several generations, obtaining nearly uh, age synchronized animals uh, of a given size for a strange measurement, establishment of an imaging protocol for recording pillar reflections, and development of an on orbit protocol for experiment experimentation that minimize crew time and ensure astronaut safety on the International uh, Space Flight uh, Station. The first um, challenge was to culture sea elegance for several generations on this station. In this uh, table, um, uh, this table lists the different space flight uh, missions with sea elegance. The culturing hardware and the food source used in these studies. In general, for these studies, the nematodes are maintained in CAIMM medium. However, their uh, development progeny is, is lower and lifespan is, is, is hmm, increased in comparison with the nematodes culture using the common medium. In addition, uh, the culture vessels used to maintain sea elegance could impact uh, their growth. Therefore, there was a need to optimize culture protocols in this medium and in spy, uh, space flight compatible culture vessels to achieve consistent culture densities across multiple generations. In this if you you can see an schematic culture pro, uh, protocol for multi generational studies in sea elegance. Uh, primary bags uh, with approximately uh, 1,000 larva uh, per milliliter were prepared at day zero and incubate and 20 degrees for two weeks. On week two, um, uh, one microliter of amoeba with worms was transferred from this bag to a new bag that was filled with uh, almost uh, 20 milliliters of fresh medium. The new bag was incubated at 20 degrees and the old bag was used for loading the worms into the Nemaflex device. The same culturing proto protocol was followed uh, every other week for the remaining generations. 
The efficacy of the multi-generational scoring protocol was evaluated by measuring animal density and locomotory health during the eight weeks multi-generational experiment. In parallel, uh, they also measured the thrashing frequency of gravid adults as a health measure. In this figure, you can see the culture consists of more than 1,000 adults per milliliter. The approximately density needed for optimized loading into the monophilic device. The culture was also found to have several thousand of larva uh, and eggs, which shows good reproductive health and overall health, health of the animals in the culture. With uh, regard to the locomotory health, they find that the thrashing frequency is the same across all four time points. Thus, uh, the overall culture health is not comp compromised over the eight weeks generational experiment. Regarding the design of the Monoflex microfluidic device, the authors thought uh, that the ideal concept for designing a, a spice flight VD microfluidic device involved ideally housing individual animals in a small chambers so that the ast astronaut performing the imaging can easily locate and record videos of animals thereby reducing crew time. In this figure, uh, you can see the layout of the nemoflex device that consists of two identical sections of 30 chambers, each with pillars, um, and the presence of two separate section, sections allows redu redundancy of the case one section clogs and also reduce pressure uh, drops during animal loading. Each section uh, has a single inlet, a single, single outlet, and a side vent port to remove air bubbles. The pillar uh, chamber will, uh, has a diameter of 3 millimeters to allow the 1 milliliter, uh, millimeter long adults to move freely within the pillars are arranged uh, as a square lattice. To facilitate easy selection of the imaging focal plane by the crew, a focusing pillar uh, of uh, 200 micrometers in diameter was introduced at the center of the chamber. And uh, to obtain uh, animals of a specific age uh, from the mixed populations in the vet, they focus uh, in sorting gravid uh, adults. Um, a cheap strategy for site-based sorting of gravid adults was implemented by adding two key geometric features to the pillar chambers, chopper, uh, mix, and seed channels. Here um, you can see uh, the higher resolution images of the pillars and seed channels. And finally, the gravid uh, adults pacing through the flow channels tend to follow the low resistance path and become trapped uh, in the next. Now, uh, regarding the design of the worm loading uh, apparatus, uh, the worm suspensions in these bags and in the Maflex device need to be integrated in a facile manner to allow the crew to load worms in the pillar chambers. These bags uh, to cheap integration uh, was achieved using a worm loading apparatus to prevent open handling of culture that presents a biofasar in this station. In this figure, um, figure is an scheme of these apparatus designed for leak-proof and efficient loading of the worms into the nanoflex device. The retention, uh, uh, 
the warm suspension uh, loop show in this figure goes uh, underneath the distribution ball. The imaging cassette uh, schematic show in here in this part uh, shows the glass bounded microphone device. The retention clips serve uh, to hold the microphone device and the inlet outlet uh, cameras. The fasteners on either sides are aligned with the side vent port to purge air uh, and then close the vent hose. Two ways reservoirs collect uh, the outgoing liquid for the Nemoflex device during the warm uh, loading process and are bent by porous membranes. The leads uh, to the waste chamber are designed to be adhesively attached. The inlet uh, cannulas are connected to the distribution valve with the help of tubing, and outlet uh, cannulas are connected to the waste receivers. A PDMS replica of this device can be integrated into the cassette. The cassette can be removed after loading the worms into the pneumatic device and mount uh, on the microscopic stage for the crew to perform imaging. The actual imaging of this uh, apparatus uh, you can see in this figure, in this part. Now, to optim op optimize procedures for sp space flight experiments, they develop and test a crew protocol to load uh, animals into the uh, NEMA flex device and achieve optimal animal occupancy in the pillar chambers. For that aim, they accomplish multiple steps. Um, as you can see in this figure, in this uh, step, Uh, one milli, uh, milliliter of the medium was purged towards uh, the waste collection syringe at one uh, thousand milliliters per hour. In the next, uh, the next step involved printing with warm suspension because the distribution balls and pores have uh, a dead volume that is filled with water during its storage. Uh, prior to performing this step, the culture bag was truly mixed uh, using um, 3 milliliters uh, syringe to ensure uniform distribution of animals. This process also removes any air trace uh, in the neck of the bag. Then the culture uh, bag was manually spun to ensure bubbles collect at the far end of the bag. Immediately uh, after this step, a clamp was used to prevent air in the head space reaching the valve port. Finally, uh, the bag was connected to the warm loading port and uh, 400 um, microliters of warm suspension, suspension was uh, withdrawn uh, from the warm culture bag and transferred into the waste collection syringe. Um, at uh, 4 milliliters per hour. Subsequent steps involve loading animals in the Nemaflex device with the two sides being loaded sequentially. Uh, for these steps as well, the culture bag was mixed um, and 400 microliters of water suspension which, uh, was withdrawn at um, for a, a hundred microliters per hour. Then the bar was uh, drawn towards uh, this in uh, FA to replace the water in the microfluidic device with a medium. Uh, next, uh, the warm suspension was aspirated to trap animals at the neck, followed by medium at 25 uh, milliliters per hour to wash out the progeny. The progeny. Overall, this procedure took uh, 70 minutes to complete per imaging cassette. 
um, next they test the efficacy of the cryosis the loading protocol by keeping the animal density in the culture bags at one thousand adults per milliliter and maintaining the maximum push flow rate of animals into the chamber at uh, 25 milliliters per hour. So uh, they optimize the protocol by varying, uh, varying the flow rates for trapping the animals in the chamber at max since trapping is the rate leading step in the worm loading protocol. Additionally, they optimize the warm suspension volume aspirate from the culture bag as, the, as uh, the number of animals in the aspirate volume will determine the frequency of trapping and occupancy uh, rate in the chamber. Their uh, ob objective was to identify conditions that result in most uh, chambers being occupied with one or to two gravity adults to allow convenient uh, software processing of pillar detection. As uh, you can see in this video, the different flow rates of 5 and 7 milliliters per hour were, were used for trapping the worms in the chamber uh, neck and the aspirated worm suspension volume was kept constant and 300 um, uh, microliters. They found that the number of chambers occupied by one to two gravid adults were relatively uh, higher for uh, seven um, milliliters per hour flow rate compared with five milliliters per hour flow rate. Next, they optimized the one suspension volume with, uh, with keeping all other parameters constant and they use three different volumes of one suspension where used to load the MFL device. The total number of chambers occupied by gravity adults when using suspension uh, volumes of these um, of three, four and five microliters were thirty one, thirty six and forty one respectively. Although the the total number of chambers of copy with gravity was higher for highest for a uh, five microliter. It had uh, only twenty uh, chambers of copy with one or two animals compared with uh, the chambers for the volume of four uh, microliters. Finally, uh, they did a uh, ground testing of microfluidics integrate hardware. The objective of the ground testing was to demonstrate the capability to implement a multi-generational uh, culture loading protocol, imaging session, and analysis of the videos. This figure uh, show the results of this uh, ground study. The gravid adult's uh, body diameter did not show a statistical difference between animal groups that were assessed uh, during each uh, time point during the experiment, suggesting that the protocols for culture and loading providing a sufficient number of animals suitable for strange evaluation. In conclusion, uh, this protocol of, uh, for nematode culture loading and the flow control system could be adapted to instrument a variety of C. elegans based microfluidic device already a report in the literature for a space fly study. A successful completion of experiment with this technology over multi-generations or uh, in a microgravity environment all opens the door for future discovery uh, using C. elegans as a model organism in the space. And the microfluidic technology in this uh, work um, can, can also be of air benefit uh, since individuals can be monitored uh, to understand how muscle atrophy occurs in the human disease 
uh, seven and eight. Thank you.